But Chaos, what about the theme teams? They're coming. My offensive and defensive ebooks are now available over on HotRot.Tips. If you guys are looking to win more games than Madden 20, that's the place to be. And don't forget, use code CHAOS for 10% off at checkout. What's good, everybody? We're back with another Chaos Coaching video, and I know you all have been expecting the theme team series to continue. Believe me, it's coming. EA just announced Theme Team Builders Volume 2. That's going to come with 297s and I believe five other players for each team in the NFL. I wanted to give you guys that kind of stuff. I wanted to take a step back, make sure we get all those players involved. And my plan is to continue to knock these things out at a high rate now. So here's what I'm going to do for you guys. Here's what I'm going to do. We're going to get a like goal going. Stop! If we get 2,000 likes on this video, I'm going to knock out two a week. That's my plan. For as long as I can see, we're going to knock out two a week until I either can't afford it anymore or I just need a break. So that's the plan for it. I wanted to take a small break to allow EA to catch up with that. It's going to be a lot of great content. I wanted to include those players. So that's why you guys know the Raiders coming. The Raiders is coming. That won the vote. I just want to, I just want to explain to you guys why it hasn't came out yet. But believe me, the series is going to continue. I'm going to get all 32 NFL teams. But before we get into the gameplay, guys, and I can start to coach you, I wanted to break down my lineup first. We have Michael Vick at QB, Marcus Allen at CJ2K are my running backs. We have Bo as a backup, but he can't really catch, so I, I took him out. I, I like to throw him on my running backs. We have Moss, Tyreek Hill, and Calvin. We have Moss and Calvin as our two X-Factors outside of Vic with Escape Artist. We have Raw Tenition, Slot Apprentice, and Streak Specialist with Double Me. Very, very effective. I got rid of the Moss just simply because... It's only for one play, and half the time you don't even catch it anymore. So double me is a lot easier to activate, so that's why I'm using that. Our, our linebacking core is not bad. Our safeties are super juiced with Maze, Adams, Troy P, and Shanti. We have Nandi. We're trying him out. We have NTL, Deion Sanders, and Tredavious White. I really like our team. This is by far the best team we've ever had. We actually have kickers and punters for once. Believe it or not, we actually do kick field goals every once in a while. Not really, but every once in a while. You already know, Dolphins offense, Dolphins defense. That's it for the team. Let's get into the game. All right, baby, let's get after it. He's doing the thing. You can change the card art now, so he's got all powers with the with the original power up. I like that. I like the card art, but our team looks fire. You go catch me with the juiced up card art. In case you were wondering, yes, I'm going to do my spiel where you should set your settings to kick off as your first option if you win the toss. And if you lose the toss, you need against the wind as your second option. The reason being, that way, if you lose a toss, you have the win for you when you're kicking your game winning field goals in the fourth quarter. Now, also, I always tell you guys, please do your substitutions. Do your audibles. Put your guys in a spot where they can succeed and be the best that they can be. If you're not putting your guys, if you're not subbing them out and put them in the right spots, they might not be successful. You can't put LT as a as a user middle linebacker. You know what I mean? So just doing the right things, making sure you're you're doing the, you're doing the best that you can to make sure your team is successful. Now he's coming on Wildcat. I'm gonna come out of my Wildcat defense. Now this is probably gonna go over high route dead tips in maybe a week or two. Maybe probably just a week. Probably just a week. This thing works really, really well. You see LT coming to the backfield. If you guys need Wildcat defense, I feel confident in what we have. And you guys, you guys can use it too to be successful. It's not even that difficult. But if you guys are using, if you guys are struggling against it, make sure you guys are checking that out. We're going to have it up over there in about a week. But if he's going to stay in Wildcat the whole time, I'm going to stay in my Wildcat defense. He's going to have to show me that he's got something else. He's going to have to show me. Oh, we need, we need someone faster than Warren Sapp. See, that's me not being successful because that's i didn't put my guy in the right spot warren sap's too slow to be on the edge there we're gonna summon someone faster d4 will have to do d4 will have to do i think he's a little bit faster than sap sap's actually pretty fast for a dt however however he's just not that quick so hopefully here we can make sure we make plays and if he's gonna stay in this whole game i'll stay in my defense you guys know i'm always just feeling out what my opponent wants to do oh i gotta make that tackle Sometimes early on in games, you're just feeling out what your opponent wants to do. If they if they want like if they like to pass the ball a lot, if they like to run the ball a lot, what are they going to do on third downs? What are they going to do on fourth downs? Obviously, with this guy, it seems like he's just going to run Wildcat. So it's going to be more of a feel out when we're on offense as opposed to when we're on defense. And right here, I got on the wrong guy. Ooh, I thought he was running left, so I got on the wrong user. But if you guys are, <laughs> you guys, I'm going to have to feel him out more so on offense than I am on defense. Clearly, he just wants to run this Wildcat. That's cool by him. I don't mind. I don't mind. He can run that all he wants on defense. We'll see. Is he blitzing a lot? Is he not blitzing a lot? Is that play coverage? Is he in cover two, cover three? Those types of things. And also, guys, if you guys are new to these types of videos, I ramble a lot. Everyone told me they like the rambling. I, on the other hand, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the rambling. That's cool. If you like it, you like it. We'll stick to it. If you don't like it, that's cool too. But these videos are really just to help you guys get better. It's me trying to coach you guys through what I'm doing. Now, he actually is gashing me a little bit right now. I need to make sure I'm flipping. Making sure I'm sticking on which side he wants to run the ball. So we're actually going to flip here. Pull this guy down. Trying to get these guys in the box. If you guys don't know, cover four, the run fits are putting your safeties into the run fit. So they come straight forward and make plays. And there you go. LT making a play again. I have him at the middle linebacker position in this 3-4 odd. Simply because that's where my guy's going to stop the run from. 
And I'm not really trying to play pass defense out of this. If I was trying to play pass defense, I'd obviously have him as an edge rusher. I have him at middle linebacker right now. We're going to try to lock this down. He's running left. We're here. We're here. We got him on a fourth down. This is a big play here. If we can get off the field, we're in a great position to win the game. Love those early game spiels, man. Love trying to teach you guys as much as I can. Hopefully, we can get off the field on this fourth down. Clearly, he's back in wild clack. Clearly, he's going to be running the ball again. Maybe he's going to run left here. He did a motion. I'm going to get on the other safety. If he runs right, kudos to him. He ran left. We were ready for it. We're ready for it. Make a hit. Oh, Kent. Uh, I don't know if I was going to stop him before the first down, but I was definitely there. He's doing a decent job. He's doing a decent job mixing up. A lot of the times, these guys will just spam the run right, run right, run right. He clearly see I was going to stop it. So he's mixing up a decent amount. That's okay. I just need to make sure that I'm adjusting to him, making sure I can make plays. I also need to make sure I'm not missing all my hit sticks like I just did right there. That was really, really bad. That's okay. That's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll adjust. We'll figure it out. I'm actually going to make an adjustment here to when I defense something that I'm doing. Nice, nice patience by him. Nice patience by them. If he would cut right right there, I was blowing it up. I made a slight adjustment to the outside rush. That's okay. He's doing good. I'm, obviously, there's not much for me to tell you guys outside of just continuing to try to play the best defense that I can. And if I can get off the field, then we can get into the offensive side of the coaching. I feel good about our defense here. I feel good about it. I feel good about it. Ooh, LT, you got it. Mm, I thought it was going to be a hit stick. That's okay. That's okay. He's picking up a few chunks here. This is this is not ideal. Obviously, you want to just get off the field. But I forced him to two fourth downs. I put him in a couple tough spots. I'm making him uncomfortable. When you're playing these guys, you want to make them uncomfortable. Clearly, all they want to do is run Wildcat and try to... <laughs> And just try to make plays that way. They don't want to pass. They don't want to do anything out of like out of their comfort zone. So, ooh, Taylor May smacked that man. So you, well, all you want to do is put him in a position to make them uncomfortable. It's a new first down. It's a new set of downs. So if I can somehow get him to a third and long, that's where it's, it's, it's that's the exact spot where it's going to be. He's going to feel uncomfortable. Now, if he does keep gashing me like this, I will have to make some changes. Clearly, he's doing a decent job. Ooh, and that that counter hurt me. That counter hurt me bad. That counter hurt me bad. Obviously, he's doing a good job. I do have a couple other defenses that I like to go to against this. So if he keeps gashing me, I'll give the rest of this drive. Again, guys, early on, you want to try to stop him in a way that you most like. I do have other defenses. So if he does continue to gash me, I will switch it up. We're not going to be stubborn and stay in the same thing. But you want to try to stop him the best way that you feel most comfortable. And then after that, you can try to mix up different ways. He's going to call, he's going to call this run again here. And we're doing okay of containing it. He's only broke the one run. Nine rushes, 20 yards going into the game. If you would ask me if I would take that, I would take that against Wildcat. We've already hit the two-minute warning, so it's looking like it's going to be a little bit of a shorter game. That's cool. As long as I can get this stop, we'll be all right. Going back to this counter. We're out there this time. We're out there this time. Let's go. We're in the exact spot that I said I wanted to be in, third and long. We're going to get him into a, hopefully like a fourth and unmanageable from Wildcat. And then we'll feel comfortable we can hold a three here. Oh my gosh. Really good blocking. Really good blocking. I got stuck. Good drive by him. Good drive by him. Honestly, I didn't feel like we did a bad job against it. He broke the one run, and then right there, he just got really, really good blocking. And I think it honestly might have been my fault also as a user. I wasn't out there to make a play. I didn't feel bad about our defense. I probably will change it on the next possession. But all in all, it really wasn't bad. I think he had nine rushes for 20 yards. Or excuse me. Ten rushes for 18 yards prior to that run after he lost the game. After he like, had like the loss of five or whatever. So... Honestly, how can you really be mad at how it was doing? Honestly, I just need to execute on the fourth downs because I got him to two and then I also got him to third and long and then we'll be okay. Early on in games, I, just, I like to test PAY shot defense, see what they can do against PAY shot. And he doesn't let he has anything for it. Doesn't look like he has anything for it. Oh, did you get your feet down? Oh my goodness. Not really the way that we wanted to start our drive. That's okay. I'm actually going to audible into a run here. He is in 146. So we shouldn't be able to stop this. Hopefully we can get a nice gash here, pick up a block. Oh, the DT shed. That's okay. That's okay. We gained a couple. I, I had to test it. I'm going to continue to go back to that. Honestly, if he wants to stay in 146 all game, that's going to only benefit me. I'll be able to gash that and I'll be able to pass the ball effectively, hopefully at least. And we should be okay. That being said, we need to make sure we pick up this first down. I'm not on a hash, which I don't like, but we should be able to pick this up regardless. He spied me. Oh my gosh. Wide open. He sheds me. That's cool. I actually have to punt here. The, the smart play is to punt the ball. I'm going to let the clock. Okay. He called timeout. The smart play here is to run the ball. It was to, is to punt the ball. I didn't feel awful on defense. And he runs Wildcat, so it's not like he can pick up 50 and 60 yards in chunks, right? So hopefully I just get a good punt right here. And at the end of the day, it's my ball at half. So we should live to fight another down. Not the way we wanted to start our game. We threw it, we we threw a really nice pass on first down, got unlucky on it, have to punt the ball, but he didn't show me anything on defense that really hurt me. He ran cover four on both passes, and then he, he got a lucky shed against my run. I'll be okay. Now, I know I said I was going to show my new defense next time he had the ball, but I don't want to show it at the end of a half. I'll save it for the start of the next half, and hopefully hopefully we don't give up anything and just make him take his time, call his timeouts. 11 rushes, 20 yards. I cannot be mad. 
at the way my defense is playing. But I'll save the, the other defense that I have for it for the second half. And hopefully, hopefully we can just contain him right here and save that. So going back to this, uh, to the fake handoff, make a play, make a play. Ah, he, let, he got out of bounds. I, obviously, I don't want to let him get out of bounds, but a three yard gain is a three yard gain. All right, we're in position right here. We got to blow this up. Get down there. Get down there. Good tackle, baby. We get the ball back. He is in a punt formation, but I am in punt safe. Hopefully, he doesn't fake it and pick this up. Doesn't look like he has a fast guy back there in the, in the spot at 35's position, so we should be okay. He has to punt here. That's why I was so confident I'll get the ball back, simply because if he goes for it and doesn't get it, I get free points right there. Since I'm not on a hash here and he's in a new defense, I just want to run the ball here, try to get to a hash, and honestly, not, not make any mistakes before half. Ooh, we have space. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. If he stays on that block, it might have been out. He's in this 3-4. He's going to send a ton of pressure. I'm just going to block everybody, try to pick up a big gain. Oh, yeah. Get out. Get out, Tyreek. Get out, Tyreek. He dropped the ball. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. We have had the unluckiest start I've ever had. Honestly, I'm trying to coach you guys here. And... And this is not going well. We dropped the ball right there. Are you kidding me? He took like three steps before he got hit. And then we also had a wide open pass earlier where our guy uh, just didn't get his feet down. So not the greatest start. It really wasn't. I'm just going to run the ball here. Try to make him use a timeout or just run the clock. Okay. Yeah, he's going to take his timeout. So I just don't want to give up anything before half. Obviously, guys, obviously not my best offensive performance in the first half. I know I didn't show you guys much, but honestly, I didn't call bad plays. I felt like we had a wide open dot on our first possession. Didn't get our feet down. We tried to run the ball. Got Oh, no. Didn't get out of bounds. Please, 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 please contain this. Please contain this. Oh, my gosh. He's going to get three. He's going to get three. Oh, that's so bad. That's so bad. I'm running. I don't punt the ball out of bounds. But okay. It's okay. It's our ball at half. I'll, I'll just get back to my little spiel that I was going on. We threw another wide open pass. We dropped the ball. It really just hasn't been our half. But that's that's not the end of the world. It is what it is. I feel confident I can stop him. We just got to go get seven out of halftime. Try to win the game. All right. New half. New us. We're going back to PAY shot. He hasn't been able to stop it. We'll just take our slant. He hasn't been able to stop it yet. We've honestly just dropped the ball and gotten shedded. But I'm actually going to go a little bit of tempo here. Change the tempo of the game. He's been, it's been his pace all game, right? Which is slow the ball down, run clock, and just try to do the best that he can to, to chew me and not give me the ball. So what we're going to do is we're just going to make sure we take as much time as we can. Ah, not the animation we wanted. Good catch. Now he wants to catch the ball. Try to make sure we're, we're going tempo, not letting him get comfortable. And, and see if we can pick this thing up. Because we need, we know we need to get a score and a stop. It's not just a score and it's an even game. I need to get a score, a quick score, a stop, and another one. So we're going to go as fast as we can here. Not necessarily rushing and making bad plays. That wasn't probably my best read. But we're going to do as fast as we can while being being safe. And we're going to be aggressive here. We're actually going to run the ball, give our team some rest. And he's in this one four six. I should be able to gash this. Hopefully we can blow it. We can blow a big one. But if not, should make sure he keeps. Being, make sure he plays as much run defense as he he has to be worried about that all game if he doesn't have to worry about the run he can just sit in one four six and be as comfortable as can be so he's he hasn't came out of this cover four yet i've noticed that i'm actually gonna attack the sidelines right here try to get up field with calvin johnson emotion amount of flat guys if they're in cover three or cover four and they're not moving their flats out you should be able to attack the sidelines with quick throws to this oh that looks like he's off sides but like that's what i'm talking about you see right there i just got six or seven yards got a first down off an easy, easy flat read just because they can't get out to the sidelines. If they're going to sit in cover three or cover four, you've got to attack them that way. That being said, we're going back to the PAY shot. I want to be able to try to pick up a huge chunk right here and just easily take the top off or just get like a big 20, 25 yard game. Make him nervous. Man, that power specialist is working. We should have this. Ooh, Taylor Mays is fast. He didn't spy me though, so I'll just get down, take my easy game. Now we're going to get back on the ball. I said we're going tempo. I said we are going tempo. But that being said, I'm not going to rush. I'm going to audible into a run here. Hopefully get another another chance at a good a good run opportunity. Motion down to this dive. Dive's a really good run that I like against 146. As long as he doesn't block shed me, I should at least get five here. We'll see though. Motion Calvin across. We got space. We got space. Ooh, 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 ooh. He's playing a very bend, don't break style defense. It works well with what he does on offense with Wildcat and Chewing Clock. So hopefully we can get a score right here. Should have our running back. Come on, Marcus. Ah, I, I wanted the dive catch animation, but I wanted a little bit more yards. That's okay. But audible actually not checked out. i'm just gonna run the same exact play i'll run the same exact play here if he wants to if he wants to stay in this cover four i can't just let him can't let him do that without attacking the sidelines so i'm gonna motion this flat across make him watch it if he doesn't watch it himself i'm gonna throw it oh he did he did he did oh my gosh i gotta get that pass off i gotta get that pass off good timing on this blitz he hadn't blitzed me all game he finally brings it out that was good timing on it i still have my route michael vick just didn't get the pass off for me i'm not mad here if i only get if i only get three 
Oh, he called timeout. Okay, okay. I have to think this one over. What I was going to say was if I only get three here, it's not the end of the world. It's still one possession. I'm going to I'm going to try to attack the silence. I expect him to blitz here. But if not, I'll take my sack or I'll throw the ball away and I'll try to get three. We should have him on the outside. We should have him. Yes, sir. Let's go. Big play. Now that we're inside the 10, I'd really, really like to get seven. I know I said three would be okay. But now that we're this close, I really want to get it in. Now he's in one, four, six, which I'm surprised about. We should be able to tote on him and just try to get the ball in the end zone. Now, I'm also going to go hurry up. If, yep. We got it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I was going to say, if I didn't get in, I'll just go hurry up. If you like the defense your opponent's in, go hurry up. Make them blow a timeout or just keep gashing them because that was that was a formation for me where I felt like it was a free run and easy yards. I'm kicking over to the left here. The reason why I'm doing that is if you sky kick to the right, it makes it an easy pitch for them to go give it to their, to their human joystick, Devin Hester. So what I've started doing is I've actually started sky kicking left if I see they have a human joystick back there. All right, guys, we're bringing out the new defense. I told you guys I had a different defense for it. We'll see if we can get it to work. I feel comfortable with it working. I really do. Hopefully it works out for us. If it doesn't, I'll go back to the other one. It wasn't the worst in the world at all. It was actually doing pretty, pretty well for us. So I'm not mad at it. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, come on. Ah, there we go. I, I like the defense. This one's more of a contain. The other one's like we're trying to blow it up in the backfield, a little bit more aggressive. I don't mind trying to contain here. I just need to stop. I need the ball back. I feel good about this defense. If it doesn't work, we'll go to the other one. But I'll stick with this for now. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Let's go. I told you guys all this game was about was getting him into something that he was not comfortable in. And we finally did it. We finally did it. We got him out of his uh, wildcat and we got him into trip tight end. He just called a timeout. He does not feel comfortable with what he's doing on offense right now. And that's good. That bodes good for us. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go into our 146. We're going to play some pass defense. Hopefully... He doesn't get anything too big on us. I just want to play the best possible defense that we can. I like it. I like it. We're out there. Oh, my gosh. That was an easy pick six. It's an easy pick six. I told you guys. That's what this game is about, though. I got him in something he's un un uncomfortable being in, essentially. We got him on a third and 15. If you go to Wildcat right there and I stop you, you can't possibly get it on fourth down. So, he had to pass there. We get a stop on it. Now, just we just need one more stop if he goes for it. If not, we just need to score. Well, he's going to go for it. That's okay with me. Hopefully, we don't give up anything crazy here. And I, just don't give up any bombs. We should be all right. We should be able to basically take away everything on his side of the field. And we, sh we should be able to get after him too with our Aaron Donald and, and Lawrence Taylor. So hopefully, hopefully we get off the field here and we're able to make a play. Come on. Nothing doing. Nothing doing. Just make that tackle. Make that tackle. Thank you. I thought they were about to knock him forward. Oh my goodness. I've never been that nervous in my life. I thought they were going to knock him forward. Okay. This is the perfect spot we want to be in. He has no timeouts. He's blown them all. Either getting players rest or doing what he wants to do. I'm going to try to take as much clock as possible, get in the end zone, go up go up four, and he has no time but just to try to break a run or something. So that's our ideal situation here. If he does give me a touchdown, I'll take it, but hopefully we can clock. Let's start off with a run here. Just try to chew him. Just try to chew him. I don't even mind it. I don't even mind not picking up that many yards right there. We're just trying to basically take as much clock as possible on this drive. He's playing a very aggressive style. He's going to send a big blitz right here. Hopefully we can pick it up, and we can, and we should have a wide open. Oh my gosh, I have a wide open pass. Oh, he really blocked Shemi right there. That's so crazy. We picked up his blitz perfectly. We did everything we were supposed to do. Perfectly ideal. Harrison Smith somehow comes off the edge and makes a play right before I can pass the ball. I've got to be able to get that pass off. Very, very, very unfortunate that a safety is block shedding me. You shouldn't go to cover four here. Basically, what I need to do now is just make sure I get about half of it back. If I can get half back. That'll, I'll feel good about that. And uh, we can maybe get a field goal or maybe be in a position where we can go for it. Perfect spot here. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh, I tried to throw it. I tried to throw it. Oh, exactly what I wanted to happen, and I don't throw the ball. Wow, wow, wow. I got a little comfortable in the pocket there, I'll be honest. I, I got happy feet, which is not what you want to do right there. You want to make sure you just throw that slant. I really wanted to streak over the top, but it is what it is. I'll have to punt the ball. Got to be smart. Hopefully, that's out of bounds. Very bad punt. Miserable punt. Oh my goodness. Maybe I need my X Factor for my kicker on my punter, but... That's okay. That is okay. We played good Wildcat defense last time. We just got to do it one more time here. And hopefully we get the ball back with a chance to score. All right, come on. Get after him. Get after him. Get after him. Get after him. Come on. I feel good about our run defense. I feel like we're blowing it up. I feel like we're blowing it up. We're going to get the ball back. Once we get the ball back, we will score. I'm telling you, we just need the ball back. Sending big pressure right here. Big pressure right here. Get out there. Get out there. Get out there. He's not going to be able to block it. He's not going to be able to block it. He's not going to be able to block it. He's motioning the guy out. He has no chance of blocking this. Just get home. Just get home. Why is he going to a seam flat? Go to a deep third. I can't get him. I can't get him to go to deep third. Oh my gosh. Now he's going to block it. Make a play, please. Please. Thank you. Oh my goodness, man. I don't know what that was. Why you wouldn't go to a deep third, but I was worried about giving up a touchdown right there. But that's okay. We got our stop. 
We need to go get points. This has not been our best offensive showing by any stretch of the means, but we're going to try to figure this out right here. We should be okay. Oh my gosh. What is going on with Michael Vick today? He's sending everybody again. Just give me some time, please. Just give me some time. Low ball. Thank you. Looking Calvin or Moss here. Calvin or Moss. Moss. There we go. That's the hitch. That's the hitch that we need right there. Come on. Same thing. I'm not changing anything up right here. Got him. Just keep getting that pass off. We'll be fine. Just keep getting that pass off. We'll be just fine. Let me try to catch him over the top right here. Let me try to catch him. Oh, I thought we had him. We'll take Moss here. Dang, man. I thought I was going to get him over the top. I really did. But that's okay. We're driving. Just going to try to see if I can bust a cheapy right here. If I can bust an easy run, I'll definitely take it. But if not, that's okay. Just take a little bit more clock. Ah. Hopefully, we can pick up the pressure right here. Try to pick it up. Come on. There we go. He didn't send anything. Okay. That's cool. We'll just throw the ball away. Good defense by him. He went to palms last time he went to this. Hopefully he's in palms again and we should be able to get a first down. Got him. Got him. Got him. Let's go, man. That's remembering. I told you guys early in the game. I told you early in the game. Feel out what your opponent likes to do. He went to nickel normal one time all game. He went there once. And you know what he did? He went to cover four palms. I assume he's going to go to that again. If he stops me, he stops me. But of course, he went to the same thing. We got the dot. It worked out. Now I just need to punch this thing in. I will take three if I have to. We played good defense. We figured out our offense. But I'd obviously like to get seven right here. We're just going to try to run the ball a couple times. Hopefully it works out for us. There's no runoff in much, so I don't have to worry about that. Ah, get on the ball, on the ball, on the ball, on the ball. Come on, come on. I'm actually going to pass here. I'm actually going to pass. And of course, like I said before, that you don't have to worry about any type of runoff. So that's ideal. Come on, man. He's going to send pressure here. I just need to try to punch this thing in. Come on, dude. We got him. We got him. Yes, sir. Let's go. 12 seconds ago. That's literally perfect. If I didn't get that right there, if I threw an incompletion or I took a sack, I probably would have just kicked three simply because the time was not on our side. It was not on our side. Well, it was on our side if we score, but it was not on our side if we didn't score. So I wanted to make sure I didn't leave him any time, whether I took a three or I took a seven. Obviously, we got seven. So that's really ideal. I'm going to do the same thing I did before, guys. I'm going to kick it off to the left. I don't want him to be able to pitch it back to his human joystick be able to break a run on me so i'm not going to sky kick to his fullback i'm going to sky kick to the outside corner on the left or the outside returner on the left and hopefully hopefully we can contain it now just don't give any don't give up anything dude please this has been a great great video hopefully we can finish this thing out right oh and he i saw we got a big hit on him, but it went to hester somehow i really thought that we did a good job of not kicking it to him maybe the wind i don't know i don't know maybe he switched up i have no idea but Good job by him there to get his player. Good job by us or our defense to get a stop. Now, come on. One last thing here. I'm going to I'm gonna play a contain type defense. I'm going to go to 3-4. I'm going to back everybody off. If he gets a few yards, that's fine. He needs a touchdown. A seven's not going to help him. So I'm backing these guys off. Please don't break anything on me. Just, yep, just contain it. Perfect. He goes down. He's going to try to go hurry up here. I don't know if we'll get it off. And he doesn't. Let's go. What a comeback. I know. It was not the best offensive game I displayed. And probably not the best coaching i could do on defense clearly he was in wildcat all game that doesn't help you guys that much but i was able to teach you guys some clock management stuff for sure offensively i taught you guys how to deal with cover three and cover four as well as heavy blitzers because that's what he was doing we were able to pick him apart and i taught you guys just remembering what people go to guys picking up on their tendencies remembering for the end of the game it really helps you out that was a perfect example today hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys are ready for these theme teams remember guys 2,000 likes two theme team videos a week it's gonna be crazy i think we can pull it off Hope you guys enjoyed. Take it easy. Peace.